Welcome to Texas Instruments, where innovation meets opportunity. With a rich history spanning decades, Texas Instruments has continuously shaped the technology landscape, driving advancements that power a vast array of applications worldwide. Digital logic, be it in the form of cutting-edge signal processing, complex control loops or general-purpose processors running full OS stacks, forms the beating heart of every mixed signal device. At TI, we push performance envelopes to deliver compelling digital feature sets with lower size and lower power, enabling the next generations of products in industrial, automotive, personal electronics, communications and many other markets. Our technical interviews are renowned for their depth and precision. Designed to evaluate your aptitude, technical skills and the strength of your technical foundation. In today's episode of Interview Insights with TI, we are joined by our interviewer, a seasoned TI engineer, here to offer key insights that will help with confidently navigating our interview process. At TI India, as a digital BLSI engineer, you will have the chance to immerse yourself in the complete design journey commencing with product definition, all the way to comprehensive silicon testing. As a fresh graduate entering this world of practical engineering, your fundamentals are the most valuable asset you possess. Engineering is the art of creating what you need using the resources at hand. In the realm of digital VLSI, your strength in areas such as Boolean algebra, CMOS logic gates, combinational logic, binary arithmetic, counters, FSNs, sequential logic, and timing analysis will be crucial. These strong basics will form the foundation for your future accomplishments in engineering. Solid advice indeed. Now let's hear from our interviewee who will share insights on how to ace these tests. I'll take it from here. First things first, allocate time for each main topic like combinational logic, sequential logic and STL. Thoroughly understand the theory and clarify your basic concepts for each topic. Practice solving basic problems related to each topic. You can use resources like problem sets in books such as Morris Manos. Once you feel comfortable with the fundamentals, challenge yourself with interview style questions specific to each topic. One day before the interview, review all the topics and solve at least one problem from each of them. Remember, this approach helps you build a strong foundation and ensures you're prepared to excel in the technical interview. Now that we have that covered, let's talk about what we need in the field of digital VLSI. This is a metric-driven domain where we create models to predict important criteria, build a first cut design, benchmark measured performance, refine the models and iterate. We are seeking individuals who can take a metric express it in terms of design variables, optimize it, and apply the resulting values to the design process. In our interviews, we assess one's comfort with mathematical formulation and algebraic manipulation as these skills are critical in the field of digital VLSI. Interview questions combine problem solving with subject basics, emphasizing the integration of digital design skills and quantitative aptitude. Your ability to exhibit these problem-solving skills coupled with a strong foundation in digital design is crucial. It's essential to seamlessly navigate between the intuition of digital design and mathematical problem-solving. Digital designs begin with algorithms or procedures, so being comfortable with these structures is vital. Moreover, scripting, automation and code generation play significant roles in the design process. We'll assess your proficiency in pseudocode, algorithms, and coding skills. While the language itself is less crucial, clear programming concepts are highly valued. Here are some tips that will help you further. Practice programming basics like arrays, loops, functions, and formulating algorithms for problem solving. Familiarize yourself with Verilog and learn at least one high-level programming language, preferably Python. It is important 
to have coding proficiency in at least one language as it is about logic rather than the specific language syntax. Once you grasp one language, learning others becomes easier. As we continue to strengthen our digital basics and math fundamentals and immerse ourselves in coding throughout our careers, we may encounter more challenging days than successful ones. However, it is on those good days that we have the opportunity to achieve remarkable innovations and make significant strides forward. I'm eager to see you at your absolute best and witness the impact you can create. Best of luck.